Hey everyone, my name is Abby and I'm going to be doing today's Scripture Sunday Reflection. It's in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians, chapter 12, verse 4 to 6, 14 to 18, and 26 to 27. Now there are varieties of gifts, but the same Spirit. And there are varieties of services, but the same Lord. And there are varieties of activities, but it is the same God who activates all of them in everyone. Indeed, the body does not consist of one member, but of many. If the foot were to say, because I'm not a hand, I do not belong to the body, that would not make it any less a part of the body. And if the ear were to say, because I'm not an eye, I do not belong to the body, that would not make it any less a part of the body. If the whole body were an eye, where would the hearing be? If the whole body were hearing, where would the sense of smell be? But as it is, God arranged the members in the body, each one of them as he chose. If one member suffers, all suffer together with it. If one member is honored, all rejoice together with it. Now you are the body of Christ and individually members of it. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have you ever tried to cook something or bake something or maybe even make a snack? I have. I love baking, but when I first started, it did not go well. I would forget baking powder, sugar sometimes. Once I forgot all the flour, I don't even know how, but I did. <sighs> but through all of that, I did learn something. I learned that these very different ingredients in different quantities each had different but important roles in the recipe. In today's scripture passage, what spoke to me is how, as followers of Christ, we are members of the body of Christ. Not only that, but we are different members, and we have a loving God who does not show favoritism. Each of us is important to God. We also learn that God the Holy Spirit has given us all different gifts. They might not look or seem or sound like others' gifts, but each of our gifts is important. And the biggest gift we have is salvation. Just a few chapters later in 1 Corinthians 15, we read that Christ died for our sins in accordance with the scriptures, and that he was buried and that he was raised on the third day. In 1 John 4.19, we read that we love because he first loved us. So freed from sin, following Christ's example, we are able to use our gifts to glorify God, to build up those around us through love by empathizing with them, by reaching out to them, by supporting them in their moments of suffering and of joy. These differences between our gifts and talents do not make us less than others. They give us each a unique purpose that God has chosen for us. Remember from verse 17, if the whole body were an eye, where would the hearing be? So metaphorically, we might not all be eyes or ears or noses. But in other words, if we all had the same gifts, the world would be missing so much. God loves each of us. And the world on earth needs each of our gifts. It needs your gifts. And the world needs you. So today... Think about the unique gifts that God the Holy Spirit has given you, whether it be singing or science experiments or coding or crafts, whether it's learning a new quarantine activity, being resilient or courageous, or being a good listener to family and friends. How can you use them to reach out and support those around you? How can you use these God-given gifts to glorify God and bring Christ to others? So we have a little challenge. This creative week, take the time to celebrate and affirm the gifts of your family and friends. Notice something someone does well and praise them for it. Don't forget to spread Christ's love wherever you go and in everything you do, even if it's virtual. 
and keep praying. So that finishes the reflection for today. Um, hope you all have a wonderful day and God bless.